All right, hey guys, this is Renee Fouché here. Let me just get this board cleared off here. Doing a little bit of planning here. All right. Hey guys, this is Renee Fouché here, and if you're looking at this video, it's probably, um, probably found me somewhere online, maybe I invited you here directly, so I do want to welcome you. Um, essentially, this is going to be a really quick video, uh, because if you're a mom like me, your time is really limited, and probably someone's going to call you to do something, um, you're going to remember that you needed to prepare dinner, or there's a load of laundry that hasn't gotten dried yet. Um, so I can totally understand those things, and so I'm going to keep this really, really brief, okay? Um, decided to do this video because I have been meeting with so many moms um, that are looking for some extra income, right? A lot of folks are looking for a way just to make ends meet, um, if not be able to exceed those means a little bit and gain some extra income, whether you're trying to pay for college, there's extracurricular things that your kids want to do, maybe you want to travel, maybe you just want to go shopping for yourself for once um, and not just spend all your money on the kids. Does any of that sound familiar? Uh, well, anyway, I understand all of that completely. Why? Because I was once there. You know, I was once sitting there trying to figure out how can I make some more money? And how can I do it without having to pick up another job, right? Because people normally say, well, you know, just get another job. Well, two jobs were meant for two people to do. It was really not intended that one person should be doing multiple jobs. And it took me a while to kind of figure that out because as a young person, I did everything. I was doing customer service, I was doing sales, I worked um, doing as a hostess, I was a bartender, like I did a little bit of everything. And then I realized I just needed my income to be bigger, right? So I got into real estate, um, I did some mortgage, um, I've worked with models, I've worked um, and done a little bit of work in the music industry, and so I've had a wide variety of experience. And what I have found out in dealing with people all around the world, actually, is that everybody has one common thread. It's that they want to be able to make more money but have it take less time, right? So what happens is that a lot of folks either start their own business or they get into some type of direct sales company, right? You've heard of those type of things. You know, as I was growing up, my mom and my aunt did Mary Kay. And so I was around for all of the Mary Kay hotel meetings. And I was there when they were doing these home facial parties. You know, I've been there and done that with you, right? Um, I've gotten into some network marketing stuff myself. However, what I realized is I didn't want a bunch of people in my house every week. I really just didn't. You know, and they say you gotta get uncomfortable before you get comfortable, and I understand that. I just didn't want everybody traipsing through my house every week, okay? Um, and what I found is that when trying to get people to come to hotel meetings, they were looking at me like, what you think, I don't have anything else to do at 7.30 on a weekday evening? No, I don't really feel like doing that because you know they were telling me make a list of my friends and family call all those friends and family just invite them just just uh trick them into coming just put them in the car and bring them there and then you have people that go into the witness protection program because they're like the hell kind of scam are you trying to pull right and so what i realized is that number one there were lots of ways out there to get rich Right? There were lots of ways out there to get rich, and I knew that because other people were actively doing it. You see, a lot of people get into these businesses, they get into doing things, they don't put in all the effort or they don't follow all of the directions, and then they say things like, oh, that kind of stuff doesn't work. Well, that's BS, actually, um, and I'm sorry if that offends you, but somebody is successful there. There's somebody that is successful with it. Therefore, it does work. It just means that you didn't work, right? And so I had to think about it. Like, what was wrong with me? Well, what I realized is that what was wrong was the method. It didn't really work for me. So I started digging around online and trying to figure out how the heck do I just, there's all these people online. I'm collecting all of these friends and all of this thing in this social media and I have a website and I'm figuring out all this stuff. What do I do? And I figured out there were a few things that I needed and they're called the three C's of marketing, okay? 
right? So whether you're in direct sales, whether you're in network marketing, whether you have your very own business, um, it all comes down to marketing, right? It's not the network family harassment program. It's a marketing program. You have to learn to market, which means that you put your information out there and people start coming to you because you're giving value, right? Think about that. The Lexus dealership does not send people to knock on your door or give you a call and say, hey, I was just wondering, um, do you think that you'd like to maybe come out to you know the showroom and take a look at the cars today? It'd be horrible because guess what? 90% of the people that you called for the day would not be in the market for a car. So instead what Lexus does is that they put information out there about their product. They position themselves online so that if someone is searching for luxury cars or best car on the market for whatever year, they position themselves so that you will run into them if you are looking for what they have. And so really that was the key to it. And that's why so many people fail in having their own business. That's why they fail in direct sales. That's why they fail in network marketing because they miss out on the fact that they need to do some marketing, right? Don't be a secret agent in your business. Don't have a business that's so top secret you're afraid to show it to anyone before they get offended or judge you, yet you can't make any sales because nobody has a business, right? So the three seals, the three C's of marketing is going to be uh, create, capture, and convert, okay? Create, capture, and convert. These are the three C's of any type of marketing that you're doing, right? You want to create traffic. That's why people, um, they go out and they get, if they're doing a brick and mortar business, they want something that's going to be in the line of traffic. They want people that are showing up and seeing their business on a regular basis. They want traffic and it works the same way online. There are people that are searching for what you have each and every day online. They want to know the information that you have. Now the thing is, is that people love to buy, but they hate to be sold, okay? Listen to that again. People love to buy, but they hate to be sold. So you need to position yourself that they're just gonna buy without them feeling like you're trying to sell them on stuff, right? So you're gonna create traffic to that information. Stay over there, honey. Um, sorry, I told you, kids are gonna just come in and distract. I hope yours haven't yet. If they have, just put it on pause, start this back up again, okay? So you're gonna wanna create traffic. Um, you're gonna wanna capture leads, okay? This is where a lot of folks miss the boat. Brick and mortar and online business owners miss out on this. People create websites, they spend thousands of dollars, and they're not capturing any leads. So let's say, for instance, you're attracting someone similar to yourself. They show up on your website. They're looking. They're like, oh, you know what? This looks really, really good. Oh, my gosh. Is that the baby crying? Oh, okay. Back to the computer now. Um, I needed to find that recipe. Okay. Open a new tab. Got that recipe. Yes, dear. Dinner's almost ready. Okay. Oh goodness, I forgot about that laundry. And they run off again. People have ADD these days, guys. So if you're not capturing leads, you're losing a lot of people. They've lost, you've lost them. They haven't even gotten to see what you have. And unfortunately, if you haven't captured their lead, you don't have the way to go back and remind them that they were interested in the first place, okay? So capturing leads is extremely important. Not to mention the fact that most people need to see something probably about seven or eight times before they buy. It's crazy, right? There are gonna be some folks that are really smart, they make a decision, they take action, right? It's been said that most successful people make decisions quickly and change their minds slowly. But there's a lot of folks that aren't there yet, right? And so they make decisions really slowly and they change their mind really quickly. That's why you need to be able to capture these leads and communicate with these folks on an ongoing basis until they opt out or buy something, okay?
Um, the next thing you want to be able to do is convert. Once you've created the traffic, you've captured the leads, then you can focus on creating the sales. So many folks want to use Facebook and they say, okay, here we are on Facebook. All right, well, I'm posting my flyer on Facebook. And some of you really think that by posting that flyer, people are just going to automatically come tumbling down your door to buy. Like I said, you may get one or two, but the, in the grand scheme of things, you need to have a pipeline of interested leads so that you always have people that you can be converting into sales. So remember, the three C's of marketing are to create traffic, capture leads, and convert sales, okay? Um, hopefully this has been helpful to you guys, and I wanted to keep this really, really brief just so you could get this um, chunk of information. We actually have a training program that teaches you all of this and more. Um, also how to utilize a blog, um, how to do social media marketing, we'll actually promote your business. Um, we have tons and tons of bonuses. So I'm sure there's a link below this video. You can go ahead and click that if you're interested in more information. Uh, if you want to know more about our training or be able to actually participate in it, go ahead and click the link that is below this video. Also be sure to visit me on ReneeFoucheFanPage.com where I generally share some more interesting tidbits like this to help you grow your business. My name is Renee Fouché, always have something to say, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Bye for now.